Before we get into my glowy vacation makeup routine, I just have to tell you this shit show of a Christmas I'm having. Wow, the girl in that clip had no idea what was coming. I just cut out the whole intro where I talked about how miserable my Christmas had been because my trip got 10 times worse. I'll keep it real short, but in summary, we get to Florida and find out that my parents are feeling sick. They get PCR tests that come back negative, so we see them on Christmas Eve, have a nice dinner. I go back to my hotel and all of a sudden, just randomly puke four times in the lobby. I ended up getting a very violent stomach bug for like two or three days, so I entirely missed Christmas. And during that time, my parents started getting worse. Unsurprisingly, they ended up testing positive for COVID. So John and I went all the way to Florida to see them. We're in Florida for 11 days and only got to see my parents once, which really sucks because I only get to see them twice a year. I thought at that point it was as bad as it was gonna get. Then, we go to Miami to see our friends. The day we're leaving for Miami, our friends tell us that they're not coming anymore. And it was a huge devastation because these are our friends of many, many years, our closest friends. Um, and they told us that they had had a really bad breakup and they'd been together for like 11 years. We were, we were just devastated. Then the other friend who was gonna come ended up getting COVID, so he dropped out of the trip. So one more friend came down to meet us in Miami. We go to our hotel. The hotel is an absolute shithole. We're in Miami, we want a nice vacation, but there's no gym, no pool, nothing. Bare bones hotel, the walls are paper thin. There are girls just like wasted outside of our door. We're right outside the elevator, you can hear all the noise. So while John's trying to haggle with the manager of the hotel, trying to get a portion of our non-refundable stay back, I'm trying to find a nice, quiet hotel in Miami that'll take us for six nights and it's not possible. It took us four hours. We finally found a hotel that looked reliable. They took us for one night. We spend the night there, whatever. Finally, we make it to the Ritz who will take us and they have like one room left. Since it was gonna be a group trip, we were all gonna have like different times to do our own thing but our buddy ended up being the only one who showed up. And so he's just getting out of a brutal breakup. All he wanted to do was just absolutely rage and go on a bender. So we basically didn't sleep for like six nights. At one point we went back to our hotel room at the Ritz and our room was like covered in broken glass and blood. We had to spend like into the late hours of the night with the loss and prevention team, like doing an investigation and cleaning up the blood. It was a total nightmare. Never made it to the pool, never made it to the beach. Only saw my parents once because they got COVID. And on the way back, we have a 4 a.m. wake up call to fly from Miami to New York. When we get to New York, obviously our flight gets canceled. So we spend like an additional 12 hours at the airport trying to get on other flights. We were supposed to get Delta One on our flight back to the Bay Area. We're so excited about that upgrade. But obviously when we were on standby, we got the back of the plane with all the people who were like coughing, sneezing, and uh, it was not the best situation. And then what else do you think is gonna happen? They lost our bags, obviously. Took another 24 hours to get our bags back because they didn't make it on the flight after that. It was a total nightmare. I hope you enjoyed this video of a girl recovering from a Christmas stomach virus with a little bit of hope left that her Miami vacation is gonna be relaxing and smooth sailing. If only that girl knew what was ahead. To get started, I'm gonna put my hair back because I know we all hate when YouTubers do not do that. I have a tiny bit of this on already, but it's the InBeauty Slushy Serum Moisturizer Crush. Big thanks to InBeauty for sponsoring today's video. Wanted to let you know that the InBeauty Face Glaze is back in stock on Sephora, so you can get that now. They gave me total reign to do whatever I wanted with the video, so I noticed that my top three favorite InBeauty products are also my go-to kind of vacation, warmer weather routine, and that starts with the Slushy Serum Moisturizer Crush. I have a tiny bit of this on already. The reason I love this is, first of all, it comes out literally looking like a slushy that like slides right down your hand. It's a three-in-one product. It's a hydrating serum, a brightening antioxidant serum, and a lightweight moisturizer in one. And I just love this because in warmer weather, my skin tends to adjust and it does not need as thick and occlusive of a moisturizer. I typically like to use the slushy as a hydrating serum, but I love that it also gives me some antioxidants. It gives me hydrators. 
and it gives me a little bit of that moisture that I need in the sort of summertime or in warmer weather. This has Bakuchio, which helps with the appearance of fine lines. Hyaluronic acid plumps the skin, and Yuzu actually contains a high amount of vitamin C. Heads up for my sensitive skin friends, this has a little bit of some type of citrus oil. It smells a little bit like grapefruit. I've used this for months and months and months. I've gone through three bottles. It's never irritated my skin. Um, so I would give this the stamp of approval for sensitive skin, but everybody's different. When it comes to sunscreen versus the face glaze, I get a lot of questions about which to do first. I think today I'm gonna do the sunscreen and then the face glaze because my skin's looking extremely dull after being sick and I kind of want the glowiness to come through more. I'm gonna go in with my Paula's Choice Super Light Daily Wrinkle Defense. Oh no, my hands are oily. SPF 30. I like this. This is a little travel size you can get on paulaschoice.com. Um, oh no, am I running out? Shit. Oh! Oh no. I just exploded sunscreen all over my pants and the carpet. This is just a disastrous vacation in every way, shape, and form. Anyways, I love this sunscreen primarily when it's really warm out because it sets down to a satin matte finish. As you can see, the tint really matches my skin well. It has zinc. Um, occasionally, this sunscreen can irritate my skin if it's already sensitized, so heads up on that. But I just love that it sets down to a satin matte finish. I also feel like it maybe gives a touch of coverage. I do want to add a little bit of the In Beauty Face Glaze because it's my, I can't live without this product. And I just want to show you, you don't have to go crazy. You don't have to use too much. And I just like to add it for a little bit of luminosity and any amount of like, maybe a little bit of a tight feeling that comes from that mattifying sunscreen, this completely eliminates and it just feels like the richest, most beautiful cream. And it adds this really nice glow to the skin. It's not highlightery. You're not gonna look like a primer that makes you look like the Tin Man. It's just a beautiful product. And I love to use this on actually just no makeup days because it just feels like a rich moisturizer. And sometimes I'll only use it as a moisturizer. Other times like today, I use it as a primer. Sometimes I'll use it as a makeup highlight. It just depends. It also has vegan squalane, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. I love ceramides for barrier repair. I think that's why this is so nourishing to me. Wish I had a fun cocktail to sip with you, but instead I've got some smart water with uh, liquid IV hydration packets. The rest of this is gonna be super fast. I do not do foundation on vacation. I don't even bring it with me. I just have the ColourPop, ColourPop? The ColourPop Pretty Fresh Concealer in light 40N, and I just do this where I need it, where I look like I've got some uneven skin right now. It's particularly bad when I'm sick. I just always find that when I use a kind of blendable full coverage concealer as in place of foundation, that I end up using so much less product. I think it's just a mental thing. Like if I used a full coverage foundation, I would just do a pump and like put it all over my face. And then I look very done up, you know, you look more makeup-y. The ColourPop concealer is full coverage and it just kind of makes me use less when I use a concealer. Um, you could certainly just go in with a foundation, but I find that I love the look of just a touch of concealer. And this base routine isn't just my vacation base routine. This is what I do every day, no matter where I am. You just really will not see me wearing foundation most of the time. Now, Fit Glow Concealer in C2.5, I just do there and there. Just a touch. The Fit Glow is my favorite concealer of all time because it's super thick. It's a little bit hydrating so that it kind of plumps up the lines but it also has a blurring quality to it and it's full coverage and it perfectly matches me. It's just insane. Everyone always wants like a super blendable concealer that just easily blends out effortlessly. And I do agree, those are really nice, but I just find that if you have a full coverage under eye concealer, you can put the coverage where you want it 
and then the coverage stays there. It doesn't just blend out on your face and blend into nothing. See how that just perfected my under eyes so beautifully? It's blurring, it's full coverage, but because it's thick, it stays in one place. You just don't use too much, otherwise you'll regret it. And the Fit Glow Concealer actually has the same ingredients as their eye cream, so it has a lot of benefits for your skin, which is awesome. Then I just brush my brows up. I like to, ow. I like to use my L'Oreal Brow Definer. She affordable and she better than anything else. It's basically the Anastasia Brow Wiz, but like six bucks at the drugstore. I honestly don't understand why people would want like an expensive eyebrow pencil when you can just get this shit. This is in the shade Brunette and I do kind of like a darker brow. I'm gonna add like the smallest amount of bronzer imaginable. This is just the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer and Light Bronze. Did they change this shade range? Because this is like so much more yellow than my last ones were. I'm really sad about it. I feel like now I need like a, a different bronzer, which is heartbreaking. You guys know this is the only bronzer I use. I'm so sad. Look at it. It's so orange. It just doesn't look like it used to. It used to be so light and like barely there. Did I get the right one? Yeah, light bronzer. Bummer, man. One of my hero products on vacation for warm weather every time is this guy. MAC Glow Play and Heat Index. Look at this color. I mean, are you kidding me? Huh. I might even use it on my lips today too. I just take a sheer brush. I treat it like a powder and I kind of tap the excess on my hands. And I'll start slow, but I usually end up with like quite a lot of it because it's gonna be the focal point of this look. It's pretty much the only blush I end up reaching for on vacation. Honestly, I bring so many others, but damn it, right? Damn it, damn it, that's good. God, it's stunning. It just makes you look like you've been out in the sun and you're all flushed and happy and maybe you're a little drunk, I don't know. Let's pretend I have a sunburn and I haven't been sitting in my room puking for two days straight. I'm gonna add a little blush on my forehead too. Oh yeah, I mean, that, that pulled it together, right? Like, you can tell. Going back in with the In Beauty Face Glaze, very strategically, I don't need to go crazy. Just a little boop, like barely anything. Just where I wanna bring a little light, and then I just kind of lightly tap it on. Just to bring a little bit more life back to the skin. During the daytime, this is really the only eyeshadow I wear on vacation. It's L'Oreal Amber Rush. This is by far my favorite eyeshadow. Look at this, uh-oh, no! All right, I'm not gonna hold shit up like that anymore because it's breaking all over me, but it is a beautiful, beautiful peachy, shimmery gold, like rose gold. It makes my blue eyes pop. It adds the most stunning shimmer. It's super super cheap it's just a few bucks i know you can get it on amazon or like your local drugstore the formula is shimmery buttery goodness sheer but blendable and it just applies like a dream there's no fallout it's one of the best eyeshadow formulas of all time so i do that then i take my finger i'm gonna add some shimmer you can see you can really get more shimmer with your finger Gonna curl my lashes off camera. By the way, these nails are a week strong. These are the Olive and June Press On Nails in the polish color GH and the style extra short. I've had these on, ooh, eight days now. And four of them have popped off, but they're very easy to re-glue. Look at this little nubbin of a NYX liner. This is the one in like brown perfection, I think. And I just do uh, on the upper lash line. And I look like a crazy person because I like flutter my eyes and just get in there. I know it's not cute to look at, but it's really an easy technique. See, looks so much better. Gonna use the Thrive Mascara. It is the only one I use because it's a tubing mascara and I won't use other mascaras because tubing mascaras come off with water and that's all that I have time for, bitch. Oh my God, I just drank way too much water with electrolytes and my stomach's not happy about it. Doing the other eye. Okay, eyes are done. Let me just shake the hair out. For lips, I'm taking my favorite lip liner. It is the Citizen Cosmetics Lip Liner in the shade 
De, spelled D-E-U-X. This is the liner Sabrina Carpenter wore in her Vogue video. And I was obsessed. I went on a mad hunt to find this. Like I went to the depths of the internet to find one person that found what this was. And it's the best. I overdraw the bottom a little and then normal on the sides. Then I take my finger and it's so creamy I can just smudge it. Same a little over on the top. I like to soften my cupids though and then normal on the sides. Just makes my lips look like a little poutier. Then I'm actually gonna take a little bit of the MAC Glow Play and use that on my lips. I just think this color is so nice. Love that color. If you know of a lip gloss in this color, hit me up. But I can't leave it at that. I'm a gloss girl through and through. So I'm gonna go in with one of the In Beauty lip glazes. And because I don't wanna disturb the color, I'm gonna go in with one of my kind of like sheer iridescent ones. This one's Candy Cane. And I love this one. It's like a clear with some pink iridescent shimmer. I just showed this on my channel and my Instagram. So I think I'm not gonna do this one. I haven't shown the extra glaze in a while. It's a clear with like serious gold glitter, which I think very much fits this kind of routine. Oh, damn it. Oh, it smells like glazed donuts. It really smells like donuts. I'll give you just a close up on everything. I feel like my skin looks really nice and even. It's glowy in the right places. It's matte in the right places. You know what I mean? I got that pop of kind of coral that I love, that pop of like shimmery peach on the eyes. I just feel put together. I feel vacation ready. I feel like I'm in warm weather with this makeup look. Um, this is pretty much what I do every single day, mostly during the daytime. At night, I'll just like swap out a different lip and a different eye. Isn't it amazing how makeup can just improve your mood like that? I mean, just looking at myself in the viewfinder, even though I felt really sick and tired when this video started, I feel better now. I feel like I'm ready to kind of conquer the day. Thanks again to In Beauty for sponsoring today's video. You guys know they're one of my favorite brands and I work with them all the time. You can now get a lot of their products at Sephora, which I know is very exciting because I talk about a lot of cool indie brands, but I know that buying through their website sometimes isn't the most accessible. So check out In Beauty on Sephora.com and your local Sephora stores. And if you made it this far, thanks for watching. I hope you had a wonderful Christmas or Hanukkah or whatever you may celebrate and I hope you have a wonderful new year. I'll see you next time.